Wir auf Sheffield. A lot of snow on the road, you may see. The tractors did not do the work <laughs> at night. So it is difficult to drive in such conditions, of course. But usually they clean roads at night. We have a lot of tractors on the roads in my city, in Fresno. That is a small park near my house. So from time to time we come here with Sheffield. There is a lot of space for him to run, to wash his hair, <laughs> his skin. He likes to roll in the snow. In some new areas, in some new neighborhoods, usually they build special territory that is surrounded by fence where dogs can run. Uh, so, but here in Fresno we do not have this, unfortunately, at least now. I may tell you that our city is growing very fast. So the new authorities develop everything very quickly. We have a lot of new neighborhoods. The city becomes bigger and bigger every day. From one point of view, I am very happy, but from the other, I'm not very happy because now it takes more time to get from one part of the city to another. These are apple trees. Some of the trees are apple trees. So, and when we do not have apples on my dacha, we go here and collect apples. They are very tasty, so we bake apple pies and small cakes. We also bake apples in the oven. This is the historical part of Fresno. That is why the houses that you see around me are very old. Usually that is maximum three-storied or four-storied buildings. I do not very often go to the new neighborhoods of Fresno, so I think that I must also make a tour around my city uh, by car, so I will show you the modern neighborhoods, the new neighborhoods. This territory was the playground for kids, so there was a kindergarten on this territory. That one was for very small kids, nursery kindergarten, and on this territory there was a kindergarten for uh, kids from two up to seven years old. So now it is ruined. <laughs> Everything is in ruins in the horrible situation. You may ask why do they not build anything here on this territory. So I think that they do not have the opportunity to do this because you see uh, that, I don't know how to call this, that plate. That means that here there is gas. I think that under the snow there is some gas storage. That is why they do not build houses on this territory, because here they could build a very big house. And now we do not have a lot of free territory where new houses can be built. So that is why every piece of free land is very precious now, but still they do not build anything here. I think so that is just my opinion, but I think that is a gas storage here. In a few years, they plan to break those two storied buildings and build modern buildings. Uh, but there is a law, they can't build many storied buildings here in the old part of Fresno, in the center of Fresno, because the historical face, <laughs> I don't know, do you say this, the historical face of the city uh, must be the same. So they do not want to change it very much. That is why they do not build modern neighborhoods here in the center of Fresno. 
I also should tell you that Fryazina is a very typical provincial town or provincial city. I don't know whether it is a town or a city because the population here is about 60 or 70,000 people. Most of the adults work in Moscow because Fryazina is very close to Moscow, about uh, one hour by train and you are in the center on Komsomolskaya metro station. Uh, so it is very convenient to get from here to Moscow. That is why people prefer to work in Moscow because the salaries there are much higher than here, two or three times higher than in Fresno. So that is why those who can go, those who have strength to go every day to Moscow, they go. I wanted to tell you that when I show you Fryazina, you must understand that most of the cities and towns in Moscow region, they look like Fryazina. They are like twins, <laughs> city twins. So if I show you Fryazina, what I show you in Fryazina, all these things you may find in any other city in the Moscow region. Also, I got a question why I also tell about Moscow, Moscow and Moscow. In almost every video I tell you about Moscow. Well, guys, <laughs> that is just because I live very close to Moscow. So if I lived near St. Petersburg, <laughs> then I would tell you about St. Petersburg all the time. So I don't know much about the provincial life far away from Moscow, so somewhere in the middle of Russia. That is why I can't tell you. So my plan is to make a big trip around <laughs> Russia. So that is just plans right now. My wish, my dream. Maybe someday I will go on a big tour around Russia for maybe two or three months, but right now I can't afford this. These are just in plans. That is why I tell you about Moscow. By the way, there are very many bloggers on YouTube that tell about other cities. Shefi, come here. So, if you would like to know about other cities, Russian cities, you should watch other bloggers, because on YouTube now there are a lot of <laughs> different bloggers that tell about different Russian cities. Eleven o'clock right now, Wednesday. The temperature is about plus one, plus two. There is no wind today. And the sky, as you may see, is very, very gray. Gray sky again. Yesterday we had a little bit of sun, but not for a long time. Ah, so I'm happy that today we do not have wind, because now I can make a video for you outside because usually I just delete the sound and make the voice over. Shefi, come here! Shefi, come on! Let's make a circle around our neighborhood and let's go home. Come here! So, sit. Say goodbye to our subscribers and we shall go for a walk. <laughs> Shefi, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I publish their photos from time to time. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episode. The new playground for kids 
I told you about this alley. I made a video about my house. So this is my house. I live on the second floor. Now you may see a lot of tractors on our roads because it is snowing almost constantly. Usually they clean roads at night. <laughs> 